Welcome to this Game Master tutorial where we will be showing you the basic techniques in how to paint Freya the Human Fighter from the fantastic Game Master character role-playing paint set that features 20 paints of brush and 5 free highly detailed miniatures like the one we'll be painting up today. To find out how to assemble or prepare your mini be sure to reference the first video in this series where we show you how to assemble Zersik the Tiefling Warlock. It's important that before you can begin adding all of the wonderful colored paints to your miniature you'll need to apply a primer coat. The character set comes with a brush on gray undercoat that enables your paint to adhere to it better. Once that's dried, we can begin blocking in all of our colors. With all acrylic paints, be sure to give each bottle a good shake before each use. The Game Master paints come with mixing balls preloaded right in the bottle to make mixing even easier. We're starting with Dryad Brown. It's important to thin your paints with a bit of clean water. Applying thin coats of paint as opposed to thick coats preserves the details on the miniature. We recommend applying at least two thin coats for most colors. With this color, pick out the undershirt, the straps, and other areas you like to appear brown. Next, we'll use Deadly Iron to base coat the sword and other metallic bits on the miniature. Moving on, we'll begin basing in the belt with Chaotic Black and the remaining armor pieces and ornate details with Dwarf Gold. You can always reference the box art or the picture of Freya in the corner of this video. Be as careful as you can here not to paint over your previous layers. Don't worry if you do, you can always tidy it up with the previous colors later on. Next we'll move on to neutral red to base coat Freya's bold red robe. Red paints tend to be a bit thin, so we definitely recommend applying a second layer once the first coat has had time to dry. The miniature is really starting to come together now, so now we just have to finish off a few more areas to base coat. We'll apply just a light coat of mermaid turquoise to the pants. And we'll use elven skin for her flesh and angelic yellow for her hair before we move on to the wash stage. We're using Shadow Wash over all of the black, brown, blue, and silver metallics on the miniature, and we will use Flesh Wash over the gold armor, skin, and hair. Because washes are intended to flow over the raised areas and into the recesses, you want to load your brush with a bit more of this paint on it. And you're going to move it around on top of the surface and let it work its way into the recesses. If you see it begin to pull up a little bit too much, just clean your brush off, dry it off a little bit, and take the dry bristles of the brush and help to wick some of that pooling effect away. While adding shadow and contrast to the miniature, the wash can also darken it down a bit. So we'll now begin adding highlights here. With Mermaid Turquoise, we're just going to apply this to the most raised edges, leaving the shaded areas in the recesses. We'll use Neutral Red to pick out the details on the robe. And we'll add Deadly Iron to the silver metallics on the miniature. We we'll use Dwarf Gold once again, this time to highlight the gold armor. An Elven Skin for the Human Fighter skin. and Ancient Bones for her blonde hair. And 
And if you want, you can also pick out the brown details using Dryad Brown. You can go ahead and add even more highlights if you wish. We think Freya is ready to go to battle against all of the biggest, baddest bosses in her next dungeon adventure. So the last thing you'll need to do is paint the rim of her base in your favorite color. We're going to use Chaotic Black here. And that's it for this tutorial. Be sure to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more Game Master news and tutorials by the Army Painter.